feel a lot more comfortable knowing you were there in case something were to happen. Uh, actually, sir, if you like, we'd love to upgrade you to first class. <laughs> Why do I look like, I look like Denzel Washington from the movie Flight? Like, of course he's a, he's a, of course he's, he's a captain, but what? Like, really, Mel? Like, really? Mel, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That one was funny. That one was hilarious. Back to the video. <laughs> And your king here, Melvin Ward, back at it again with another episode of Melvin Plays. And today we are doing a reaction video to Darman. And this video is called Men with Turban Get Kicked Off the Plane. Wow. Okay. Really interested to see. And it's also because I'm making a cameo. When? I can't tell you that. You gotta wait and see. And before we get to the video, you already know, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go ahead and share this video. Go ahead and like this video. Last but certainly definitely not least, go ahead and hit the notification bell if you guys want to know crazy videos every single time. Like this every single day. Hey, yo, hey, let's go ahead and get in this video. Alrighty, Denzo. Man with turban gets kicked off of his seat. Yes. Let's get into it. Oh no. Let him on the plane. Already, already. And you know I gotta say something. Come on, racial profiling. Come on, Karen. Come on, Karen. You can't keep racial profiling. Just because someone looks a certain way doesn't mean you have to assume that's what they like. That's what they do. I know that's what it is. I mean, kind of sound like I was blowing that little rap. That's what it is. That's what they do. Yeah, that I mean. Back to the video. Hey. Mikey, switch with me. Mikey, what's up? You switch seats with me. Why? I like the aisle. Would you just listen? I don't want you sitting next to that guy. Fine. So we pushed out the aisle. Go in the knee. Thanks. Why Guruji da Khalsa? Why Guruji sabda bala karya? Excuse me. Hey, Mohammed. I said, excuse me. Again, I got, come on, man. I mean, I've seen situations like this where someone, who's usually white, who says something disrespectful like that and calling someone, in a, I guess, an assuming like racial uh, name, something that's, you know, a disrespectful name like that, usually would get knocked out or, you know, something. You know what I mean? To like, yo, like, you don't do that. Back to the video. Mm -hmm. Actually, my name is Baljeet. How can I help you? What are you chanting? It's a prayer I say before every flight. Is there an issue? Is that some sort of a Muslim thing? Uh, no. Actually, I'm a Sikh. But even if it were, would it matter? <coughs> hey. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> He should be staying away from those sunflower seeds since he's coughing. Thanks, <laughs> but nobody asked you. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Make sure your seatbelts are fastened. We'll be taking off in just a moment. Hello, hello. Um, Hi, yes, can I help you? Yeah, um, I'm just I'm a little concerned about, Why you know. Khalsa? Why oh, was there something the matter? You don't hear him chanting? Who knows what he's saying or plotting? Oh, there's a lot of passengers that pray before a flight. Facts. Every time I'm on a plane, I pray. I don't say it out loud, but I, you know, I, I do pray out loud, but I don't just pray super loud. But every time I fly anywhere, I always pray and ask God protect not only me, but everyone on this flight, protect 
uh, give wisdom to the pilot. I mean, to make sure the whole thing is smooth. And I'm here today, so prayer works. Back to the video. Especially the Indian community. There's nothing to be concerned about, ma'am. Mm-hmm. That's like twice, man. Stop eating those seeds. Thanks. Was that necessary? Did you just take a picture of me? No. I just saw you. Why would you do that? Right. I'm sending the picture to my husband, okay? May I know why? Yeah. Because if anything happens on this flight, he'll know who's responsible. Responsible for what? Look, I don't have to explain myself to you. Yeah, you do. Hi, is everything okay over here? No, it is not. I do not feel comfortable sitting next to him. Can you please move somewhere else? Unfortunately, there's only one seat in the back that's empty, but... You know what? I'll move. Are you sure? You really don't have to. I'll be fine. <sighs> Thank God he's gone. Please keep an eye on him. You never know what's in his bag. You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. Facts! I, I know a terrorist when I see one. And I know a racist and a bigot when I see one. It's, you know, it's just something that I see. Something that I also notice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I notice it too. Back to video. I hope you're gonna report this. I'm so glad that guy is gone. I just wish they had taken him off the plane completely. <coughs> Mikey, you all right? Mikey, is everything all right? Help! Oh, my son is choking! Oh my god, is he okay? No! Please call a doctor! Okay, let me tell the captain. Breathe, honey. Come on! Would What's you like some water? No, he's already had water. He needs a doctor. Is there a doctor on board? I can help. No, don't stop! Don't touch him! What are you doing? He's got seeds lodged in his throat. We need to get them out. <laughs> Oh my God, thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die. You are very welcome. I would stay away from those sunflower seeds. I will. <laughs> Wait. Thank you for saving my son. How did you know what to do? Well, you see, you said I must be a terrorist. But in reality, I'm a doctor. That is why I'm flying to LA to perform an emergency surgery on my patient. You're a doctor. I had no idea. Yes. And so you know I was praying for everyone's safety, mm. including your son's, since I heard him cough. Really? You were praying for my son? I feel so terrible for how I treated you. You should. I guess I really shouldn't judge a book by its cover. To be honest, I get stereotyped all the time. Brother, I am with you. You get stereotyped all the time as well. Because of the color of my skin, the way I look. So I feel you, brother. Back to video. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Anyway, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Wait. Don't go. Would you mind sitting here again? I would feel a lot more comfortable knowing you were there in case something were to happen. Uh, actually, sir, if you like, we'd love to upgrade you to first class. Why do I look like, I look like Denzel Washington from the movie Flight? Like, of course he's a, he's a, of course he's, he's a captain, but what? Like, really, Mel? Like, really? What? Okay. 
Okay! <laughs> that half was kind of tilted to the side, too. <laughs> now, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. That one was funny. That one was hilarious. Back to the video. Come on, we're back smiling. You know what? I'm fine here. <laughs> and I'm doing a oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. I did the whole like there you go. Here's your hat. Yeah, the hat. You know, cause every you know, when you got a hat, you always gotta like tip it. You know what I mean? You gotta tip the hat. But um great video and and as you <laughs> And as you guys can see, I literally did a cameo. This is what a cameo is when, when you know, when someone comes in a movie uh, or in a film, whatever, and they make literally like a quick little like appearance, and then that's it. That's what a cameo is. But um, I enjoyed the video. Never judge a book by its cover. And if you like this video, just like I did, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, uh, share the video, leave a comment down below. I certainly, definitely, at least go ahead and. Hit the notification bell if you guys want notification videos every single week. Slap me videos like this every single day. Hey, yo, hey. It is your favorite Darman actor and your King Carrie Melvin Ward signing off. And your king is 